Hey, what's up guys, Steven here. Welcome back to another video. And today we're taking a closer look at the gaming racing wheel from PXN, the V9. This is a racing wheel that's compatible with the PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4, Switch, Xbox One, Xbox Series X and S, and also the PC. <laughs> So if you follow me already for a longer time, then you know that I reviewed quite some racing wheels on this channel from the Frostmaster T150 to the Logitech G29. And this here is a really affordable um, racing wheel without force feedback, but with plenty other cool features. And it also includes a shifter, 900 degrees and much more. So let's have a closer look. Let's test it out in some games. And yeah, there we go. And guys, if you're interested in this steering wheel, there's currently some promotion on Amazon, so make sure to check out the links down below to get it for a really good price. All right, let's open it up and let's see how it looks inside. Package is quite huge because, well, it's a big steering wheel. It's um, very similar in size to um, the G29 um, and also it includes the shifter inside of the box. First of all, we have here a user manual, then there we go. All right, so here's another box and that includes the clamps to um, fix it on the table. And there are two of those clamps included. Then let's check this out. Um, there are some suction pads um, for the steering wheel base. Here we have an USB cable. Then here we have the steering wheel itself and let's put this down and let's check it out. All right guys, so here we have the base and the first impression, it looks kind of solid. So we have the steering wheel right over here. Um, it's mostly plastic, but it feels really good. Now we have pedal shifters. They're made out of plastic too, not metal, but they feel okay and they work kind of nice. Then we have a D-pad right over here. We have the buttons, so um, Y, B, A, X. So as you can see, the labels are for all the consoles on there. Then here you also have buttons, so three buttons on the left, three buttons on the right, then a programming button, mode button, share button and options button. Now at the bottom right over here, there's a switch to switch it from 900 degrees to 270 degrees, so depending on what you play and how you like to play. Now at the bottom we have those suction pads, there are also some more suction pads included if they wear out. And here um, on the back side, we have actually the connector for the pedals, the shifter, we have a headphone out and we have a USB port so you can actually connect a controller. Overall, the steering wheel looks quite solid. I really like that it has a USB port for controller, headphone out, and yeah, also many buttons which are labeled for all the consoles. So now it gets interesting. Here we have the six gear shifter with reverse. And actually I'm kind of impressed because um, this shifter feels really good. Um, I expected that the shifter will be, you know, um, a little bit wobbly or something, but shifting on this one feels right now really good. Then also here are two switches. So it says here low and high. I need to find out what it actually does if you can rebind this in the software. And here's something that looks like a switch for parking brake or something. So really cool that there are also some physical switches, which especially for a Euro Truck Simulator could be very handy. All right, then also here, this one has a pretty solid clamp to clamp it to your table. Then now here we have the pedals. So this is a three in one with the clutch, brake and the throttle. They are all linear pedals. And the cool thing is that you can fold this out um, for your feet. And yeah, um, here at the bottom, you can see the pad so that it's not moving on the floor for some grip. And with one cable, it actually connects to the base steering wheel. Now I would say, let's just try it out. Let's connect it to the PC and let's play some Euro Truck Simulator too. All right, guys, there seems to be also an app on the smartphone. Never seen this on a steering wheel where you can adjust the things. This is really amazing. So let's get it. You need to search for PXN V9 um, and it's in the App Store. So that's really convenient. Um, on Android, you can also download it from the website. And there we go. All right, so here we have the app and it seems that this steering wheel has Bluetooth. Okay, that's totally something new. So detect Bluetooth device, let's go to yes and let's see if it finds the steering wheel. And there we go. 
Now for a budget steering wheel, this is a really amazing feature. First of all, it doesn't have force feedback, but it has vibration. So you can set the vibration to off, low, medium and high. And as you can see, the steering wheel vibrates already. So that's cool. You can adjust the sensitivity from low, middle and to high. Then here, um, as you can see, you can remap the buttons. So that's really, really cool as well. Then here we have um, the clutch, brake and accelerator, which you can also remap right over here. So that's also really cool. Then um, here we have um, the switches on the shifter, which you can remap to any of the buttons. And also, as you can see, the gears, even the gears you can remap. So that's really, really cool to do all your adjustments here in the app. Well, then right over here we have also configurations, so you can also add here different configurations as you can see and then just load them. And right over here we have testing, so um, basically here we have the steering wheel and if we for instance press the D-pad up button, it shows here that the button is working and here you can go through all the buttons to check it, as well as also the pedals, as you can see, accelerator, brake and the clutch, and also here the shifter. So if you want to test something on the steering wheel, you can do it right over here. And here you can do all your remappings and adjustings to the wheel. So that's a really amazing feature for a budget steering wheel. And now let's go and let's play. Alright guys, we're now here in Euro Truck Simulator 2 and you can load up the profile directly from the application. This is really convenient on the steering wheel because you don't need to reconfigure the whole steering wheel. You can just load the configuration on your smartphone and then directly go into the game. So um, now let's drive here a little bit around and let's check it out. So while um, I've connected the shifter, um, as you can see, um, the pedals are working for shifting if you want to. I'm using it for the indicators. You can use the D-pad just like on an Xbox controller to look around and you can configure this to all the buttons you would like to, like for for instance to attach the trailer or whatever. Um, also it's really cool that here on the shifter you have the button that you can switch the gears because this is a six gear shifter. Now the truck has 12 gears so then if you press this button it actually switches between um, the six gears and the 12 gears. So as you can see this is gear number 12 and um, switching it back is gear number six. The reverse is also working perfectly nice and yeah let's drive a little bit around here and there we go. First gear clutch second gear now let's try to shift a bit up oh we cannot go there <laughs> uh, third gear so as you can see I'm not a really good driver and I didn't play this game too much but it seems to be really fun with the steering wheel so we're now here in the sixth gear we can now actually switch um, the gears here so we can now switch to the ninth gear and there we go we can break right over here all right guys, so let's come to my final conclusion about the PXN V9. Now, it's an amazing budget steering wheel. You just need to be aware of that there is no force feedback. Some things here are plastic, but for the price, it's actually doing quite good. I really like the shifter because it has very little play. It actually feels really good. Now, most of the budget steering wheels, they don't come with a shifter, but here feels really good. We have also two buttons here, which you can configure very useful for Euro Truck Simulator. So you can and switch for instance between 6 and 12 gears. Now the pedals, they are linear pedals but with the right adjustments in the software they're also getting the job done quite well. Here I actually really like that you have something for your feet right over here so it's not just only a small pedal but if you want to store it away you can fold this which really helps you to save some space. And yeah overall um, you can use it on many consoles. It's nice to use it on the Switch. I would never use a steering wheel on a switch anyway but it's really cool that you could if you want to the configuration in the app works amazingly well so if you want to load up a different game you can easily do it now many people said well um, it's a steering wheel without force feedback okay so maybe for professional sim racing games you will miss force feedback but if you play simulation games like um, for instance euro truck simulator the vibration feedback from the steering wheel is definitely enough and getting the job done so if you're looking for a budget steering wheel to play some simulations like bus simulators um, euro truck simulator then this is actually a pretty good bang for the buck all right guys so if you want to have more information on the pxn v9 make sure to check it out 
links down below in the description to Amazon. There's also currently a promotion, so make sure to check it out. And if you have any questions about the steering wheel, feel free to ask down below in the comments and I will try to reply as soon as possible. So as always guys, big thanks for watching. I'm Steven from Tech Magnet and I'm signing out. Bye.